Another part that will always be visible on every page is the footer of the website. Like the name suggests, it's all the way at the bottom right here. And we can also edit this part of the website. Now what I wanna do is add a completely different template for the footer. So what I'm gonna do is click on the footer and then click on remove and confirm. And now I'm gonna click on add section and I'm gonna look at these templates here. I'm gonna use something very simple. So I'm gonna just choose this footer here. And now here I'm gonna add my logo to the left side. So I'm gonna delete this text element and add an image instead. Then to add my logo, I'm just gonna click on the plus icon and then select from library because I already uploaded my logo to the library. Now it's a bit large, so let's make this a bit smaller. And then here in the center, I'm just gonna add my social media link so I can just click on it, then go to the pen icon. And here I can just add my social media links right here. And on the right side, I'm gonna change this to my own email address. Then I want to make sure that it's centered in this text element box. So let's click out first, then let's click on the text element again. And then here with this icon, we can set this to center and then it will be aligned with all of the other elements we have here. Now, one more thing I wanna do is to make this text a link so that when people click on it, it will automatically open up their email and put this email in the recipient box for a new email so it'll be easier for them to contact me. So first let's highlight the text we wanna add the link to, then let's choose this link icon, then here let's choose email, and then we'll just add our email once again here, and then click out, and now this will be a clickable link. The last thing I'm gonna do for the footer is decrease the height by just dragging this up so all the elements will be in the center like this. 